Golden Bachelor star Jerry Turner has given fans a first glimpse at his season. Posing in a sharp-looking tuxedo with host Jesse Palmer, ABC finally revealed the show's star amid major anticipation from fans. Jesse, 44, took to his Instagram feed to share a teaser of what's to come on the debut season of The Golden Bachelor. In the photo, he stood side by side with Jerry, 71, with both men rocking suits. The incoming Bachelor star had on a navy and black suit with a bow tie while the franchise's host sported a black suit with a blue tie. He captioned the post, It's finally happening. Jerry, our first ever Golden Bachelor, has begun his historic journey to find love. Jesse went on, so excited and honored to be along for the ride. Fans flocked to the comments to express their excitement. Current bachelorette Charity Lawson commented, I've been waiting for this picture, go Jerry. Someone else wrote, so excited, I hope he finds love again after losing his wife. He really seems like an awesome gentleman. Another fan commented, Bachelor Nation will never be the same. A fourth fan wrote, I'm so looking forward to this. Another comment read, I'm so happy for Jerry. Love lost. Prior to being named the first ever Golden Bachelor, Indiana native Jerry was married to his high school sweetheart, Tony Renee Turner. Tony tragically died, leaving Jerry a widow. Now, the U.S. son has exclusively learned more details about Jerry's wife's death. According to a death certificate from the Indiana State Department of Health obtained by the U.S. son, Tony Renee Turner passed away on July 15, 2017, at 65 years of age. She was born November 22, 1951, in Ottawa, Iowa. Prior to her death, she had been a patient at Parkview Regional Medical Center in Fort Wayne, Indiana. At 7.30 p.m. local time, Tony was pronounced dead from natural causes. The immediate cause of death, per the certificate, was cardiopulmonary failure, also known as cardiac arrest. The additional causes were shock, sepsis, and renal failure, also known as kidney failure. An autopsy was not performed. Services for Tony were held at Fairhaven Funeral and Cremation Services in Indiana, according to the certificate. The U.S. son reached out to Jerry and ABC for comment but did not immediately hear back. Lasting bond. Tony and Jerry were married for 43 years. She got unexpectedly sick in 2017, the same year she ultimately passed away. Jerry, pronounced Gary tearfully revealed in his Good Morning America interview, she got robbed. Every day that goes by, that's the thought that I have. 